Okay class, let's take a look at how to make a good blog post and how to post it and how to do it right so that it should make it a little bit easier for everybody. So first, you see we have the Echo Merge blog site up. Now, some of you are going to be in this class, but some of you will be in a different section with Echo Paul. And so there's Echo Merge and Echo Paul, but we're just going to use this one to show you how to make it work. So first, just go to the blog. See how we went to the URL? We just went to echomerge.blogspot.com on the web, the way your family and friends could see it. And over here on the right, we're going to click carefully on Sign In. Now, you remember that it is the uh, Echo Merge capstone. So we're using echomerge at gmail.com, and we'll put in the password for this term. and we hope we remember it right and we click and it says loading and we did remember it right so this is the back side of the blog this is the side that only the developers see and each of you is taking your own turn being the developer so be careful with the password and don't mess this up this is why I want you guys to have a practice blog of your own so over in this area you'll see there's several different blogs looks like there's four so the one that we want, this is the treasured one that we pass term by term to others. You can tell, look at all the page views and look at all the posts, so almost 2,000 posts. And there's 96 followers. By the end of the term, I want you guys to all be followers of this too because you can use this for future reference uh, as well as helping it grow. These are practice blogs that other students put up because they didn't follow the instructions completely and they thought this was the place to do it. I've left them up just because sometimes I think it's convenient to be able to go in and take a look at some of this stuff and, and see what they did and how they did it. And this one here, Project Documentation, the goal was started by students one term to put documentation for the project in there and uh, it kind of fizzled. We may bring that back if people find it useful, but I'm looking for other ways to, to pass project information from term to term. Anyways, let's go make a post. So we're gonna to go to the Echo Merge project right here. This is the one we want. And the orange rectangle where it says create new post, that's what we're gonna do. Now here, you see all sorts of tools. And a lot of you are familiar with these types of tools. This is your link tool. And over here are different things that you can do. Um, there's a lot of a lot of flexibility inside of this um, where you can make various changes to your blog post but instead of practicing here I want you to practice those on your own if you're just going to go into the blogger site here on the main blog then keep it pretty straightforward anyways we'll make a test this is a test blog entry we will go and look at it in real life. Okay, now, if this were real, we would take the time, in other words, if it was in the class, we would take the time to add photographs using the photo link. We would take time to add links so that people could click on it, and we would do different things to it. If we were technically oriented and we wanted to get into playing with the HTML, we could do it here by clicking this and working with the HTML code, but we'll just leave it on the Compose screen. And now uh, let's go, well, maybe let's just put a graphic in just to show you how to do it. So we'll click Insert, we'll choose something from a file. Um, I know. Let's try from a webcam. All right. Let's see if it can do it. There. Okay. That's me. I'm the instructor, Rob Remmer, and we'll take a snapshot. Smile. Okay. So now we will add selected.
there. And uh, that's the end of the test. Obviously, we could manipulate this for a while, but we're not going to do it. Now, let's save it. We clicked Save. That's so we could step away, come back, and it's still going to be here. We'll give it a title. Rob's Blog Test. And we're going to publish it. Okay, we'll click Publish again. There. Um, yeah, I don't want to share it on Google Plus right now. Not this, but it would be good if you guys did because then that just helps drive traffic. So we'll cancel that. And let's go see. Now, see it's a line item. And we can edit it, we can view it, we can share it, or we could delete it. We'll come back in a minute and delete it. But it's published. We could go add a new one, or we could go explore others. But right now, let's go take a look at it and see how we did. So first of all, let's go ahead and sign out. Because I want you to absolutely see how this works. Sign out. So now, you can agree with me, we're not in anything. So uh, let's go put in echo merge and see what happens. There. This is a post. It's successful. I see it. It's on the blog. It's official. The whole world could be laughing at my picture right now. And it's got the date and everything. It's right there. Now, here's how you get credit. You go to the blog, just like this. You see your post. Now, remember, in the class, there's up to 20 people posting, too. So yours might not be the top of the list. It might already be down three or four. So you find yours and you click right here on the title of yours. Watch what I do. I click, see, the color changes, the title, I click on it. Now it did something very interesting. It went up here to the top and it altered the URL. This is what you cut and paste and send to me at bremer at pdx.com. Then I will view it and approve it or make comments or tell you you've got to make some changes that's when it counts so control C for copy and now we're going to completely close out would you agree there's nothing there so now let's go ahead and bring it up again and let's go paste it in this is what I do when I get it in an email I look I see it there. I click it because you sent me the link. And ba ba, there it is. It jumps right to the very one you want me to read. I'll read it and comment and send you an email, and then you know it counts. So now that we've done that, let's go and get rid of it. So we're going to go back and sign in. We're going to sign in at Echo Merge. We'll put in our password. Click sign in. Amazingly, we've remembered the password correctly twice. And what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we're going to find this. Actually, we'll just start on our big blog right here. And let's go to posts. See what I did over here on the left? Posts. And I'm going to select it and delete it. Okay, so now you've seen me go in and out. Now, for most of you in the class or anybody posting your individual blogs, that's how you do it. Now, if you're in marketing or creative or technical and you are looking to enhance the quality and appearance of the blog or do something interesting with it, you would do it over in these control areas here. But before you do, make sure you have a good sense of what you're doing. Practice it in your own blog or in a blog that you've built on your own with others in the class or your group and then duplicate it over here um, because it's important we keep this going without it breaking. Thank you very much. That has been another episode of 
how you put a blog together for the Portland State University multimedia class online capstone.